All right, so I'm not going to do them all, but just one combat. But I, I did want to kind of like go over a few things. So uh, part of the special request stuff, if you want to call it that, is the Third Army has asked, well, specifically the Fifth Corps, I do believe, um, over here. Um, they've asked specifically, um, can the Second Army deal with securing the rail um, this rail over here and um, part of the deal I guess if you want to call it that is um, they're like okay we'll we'll try to take this um, this area here I really need to get people across the river this is a, a, the big thing in the long run I can't um, and that's why I even moved this person over here uh, number 32 hold on flip the, grab the thing here Second Army. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of movement, I don't think, for the um, the Third Army. No. Um, so I moved the I moved the Hotzendorf um, division over to here. Railed them over to here. That's why there's a purple spot uh, there, just to remind me. And the Tenth Infantry Division and the First Landwehr Brigade. I do believe. Yep. Um, I moved them. Uh, from there over to here, so they abandoned uh, that spot. Uh, but it's due to the fact that the Fourth Army were um, they're told that they have to secure this uh, rail line. So I'm like, oh well, we've got other things to do. I can't have the Russian like I really would like to get across the Boog and stay across the Boog. Um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's what it comes down to. Um, and I'm not. I don't feel like I'm cheating whatsoever. Uh, this is newly. Um, transferred uh, 10 supply points. Um, the 3rd Army has not moved. 3rd Army HQ has not moved. Um, I'm going to supply, even though these guys are actually under um, um, a different, not under direct 3rd army, army control here with Ruski, um, Ruski Bruderman um, over here. Uh, these guys are, but this is under, I think, Core 5. Oh, hold on, I'll check. Wouldn't mind. Kind of nice. Hold on here. It's number three. Uh, third core. Yep, third core. So that's General Major von Selner. Um, so he's uh, doesn't have any supply points. I can't transfer the supply points because these just got transferred. Kind of, you can't do that. That sneaky thing. But he's within four. Um, movement points of Selmer's um, uh, core, and they're under the same army for crying out loud. Give me a break. So, like, I don't feel like I'm cheating. So, I'm going to expend, uh, so that's a total of 10 supply points going up against tier number 63, which is, hold on, uh, the 19th Inf Infantry Division. And yeah, it's basically I need to get across the river. Um, since I'm attacking with this guy that doesn't have the river that's great they still get the minus two but at least it's not um, I don't have it you know I don't have I don't have that additional uh, problem so it'll be minus two to the die roll um, 10 supply points I still want to keep uh, some supply points here we're going to do an attack over here I'm not doing it with this video but we're certainly going to try to attack here so that's going to be another two supply points um, that Bruderman's going to use here that's two there that's 40% of what he's got left. There's four supply points over here, that, and that's it for the remainder of the month for the Austro-Hungarians. Um, and well, I guess Austro-Germans, I guess, but I'm gonna call it Austro-Hungarians because that's uh, basically, this is what is under control. Um, and um, that's that, but I think it's the, I think this is it. Like I just, part of me is like, I'm, I'm also getting into this other level of, I can start seeing, um, Big problems now with the. I mean, it's just getting horrible. I didn't realize there's an excellent possibility that the Austro-Hungarians are going to be able to stay across so quickly, and um, I'm like, I mean, the Third Army HQ is right here. You can see where things are from. Like, it, they can't even. It's not as if uh, the Third Army is able to um, spend time to re group in a sense they have to keep falling back before they can even start it you know you see what i mean it's like i'm nip oh my god yeah i'm nipping at their heels is basically what it's i, and I want to keep nipping 
Um, so get there first, I think is an excellent chance of getting it. Uh, we'll do that one and then that'll be that, like I said. And then that'll leave a remainder of six uh, string, uh, su supply points once I get some people over here and keep them there, which is going to be wonderful. Um, and s have also, by the way, sent the, uh, the core, uh, yeah, I was a sneaky devil, I sent uh, two Hotzendorf divisions. Well, it's still uh, uh, the equivalent of, um, uh, for, but I didn't, didn't, you didn't say, trust me, the Germans are going to do it on the flip side. Um, that's the way it, I had also these little daydream uh, side chit chats between the Warsh Army commander, or well, Warsh, and, um, and uh, Brejevich about like, okay, let's sidetrack the Katowice uh, conference agreement. If you can send me just a couple of uh, dudes that have five movement points German wise, um, I'll, I'll send you better tr Austro Hungarian troops to do whatever you want with, and you can send me less. But um, it, it didn't, didn't matter. It didn't, didn't work out due to the fact that um, it's more advantageous this way for the Austro-Hungarians, oddly enough. But anyways, um, it, the Germans don't really matter. They don't really care, to be honest with you. I, they were more upset they had to send 10 supply points over. I can tell you that much. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. So that'll be that. Um, once I can get some people over and keep them over, I think then that'll be six um, supply points to try to finally take the Boog River Bridge. And like I said, as long as we don't attack from this angle, uh, the people here will not, will not be able to use um, uh, the, the woods. And that's going to be wonderful, which, which means they'll only get a broken train, which will only be minus one to our attack roll and nothing to theirs. But anyways, we're not there yet. It's a long way away. Uh, we're going with these guys here. I'll tell you who they are and then off we go. I'll do the die roll, which is almost inevitable that um, they're going to be forced to retreat because I didn't realize there are only two strength points and I've more or less tried to really make sure that uh, the world's going to happen good for them. So number 39 over here, um, or sorry, um, 35, is the uh, 88th uh, um, KUK, I guess that's the... The, the Emperor's uh, or General Armies, I have to look that up again. Um, they've got two strength points, 31st Infantry Division is two, and the 108th uh, Landwehr Brigade is one. Uh, number 38 over here is the 1st Landwehr Brigade with two strength points, and the 32nd with, 30, uh, with three. And there's a total of ten. Um, like I said, the 3rd Army will supply eight. That'll cost two. Hold on. Yeah, I don't want to. Uh, I've got other stuff to do. Is not what I'm saying. I'm also not saying that um, doing these videos are. You know, I don't want to do them. It's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I've got other things to do, so I can't do every single flipping. Um, like, yeah, I've got other stuff to do. So I'll I, I'll try to do my best of whatever. But uh, you know, it's, yeah. Okay, so otherwise I'll go freaking. Well, it's just just not enough time in the day. It's too bad. That's the way it goes. Um, okay, so we've got eight there, and so that's a total of. Remember, it's going this away. So um, this one here first. So that's a total of nine strength points with a minus two to the die roll. So I'll show you this the combat table first. Uh, see what you can see. I think you can see that. So there's a nine. The minus two to the die roll. They only have two strength points, so I'm guaranteed. Oh my gosh, uh, I'm guaranteed. I think unless I hit a one. Oh Jesus H. No, I think. Uh, well, let's just keep rolling and shut up, because uh, I tend to. Anyways, here we go. Actually, you'll see before I do, because I have to aim. Otherwise, I'll nail the the map, and that won't be good. Holy F, that uh, was close, eh? Jesus H. Okay, so that's a two. On a nine. Well, I'm going to see what you can see. It's a two. So I still do one hit. The, so that means the Russian 19th Infantry Division with two strength points are going to be forced to retreat, which is exactly what I wanted. 
um, I'll move the little red thingamabob. I don't need that anymore. But they can still um, still get the counter attack. Uh, the third army Ruski has no strength, uh, no supply points. I know that for a bloody fact. And um, trust me, <laughs> otherwise it would, you know, things would have gone a lot better. Uh, the only ones that do have them are way the hell over there, um, um, von Salza, um, with the fourth army. Um, as far as I, yeah, I've got them right. Um, anyways, so. They're going to be forced to retreat. They still get to, uh, like I said, um, do a counterattack. Since they're forced to retreat, but we still have to do the unsupplied first, that'll be halved. Uh, they're forced to retreat, so it's not tripled, it's doubled. So they're back up to two, but they get plus one to their die roll because of the woods. All right. So away we go. Oh, I can see this man. There's a high percent chance I'm going to... And they get a four, plus one this time, I remembered, five on a two. Oh, so close. Oops, sorry. So, nope, no hit. Um, so they're forced to retreat, bring them down to a one. I pop them into there, I'll do it later. And I'm allowed to bring whoever the hell I want across and... Um, We'll bring everybody across from here. So that'll be the, um, wow, isn't that incredible? Holy F. So that'll be the, that's number, and as far as I know, I did it right. So that's the 1st Linewire Brigade and the 32nd Infantry Division uh, across the, um, is that the Streepa River, I think? Hold on. Yep. And, uh, the, they cross the Streeper River, and that's ex oh my gosh, that's exactly what I wanted. So that means now the Second Army they can't they can't do it now because they've already done their moves. Uh, but next turn or whatever, they can start securing this rail bridge. Start securing that rail bridge. Um, remember, special request for the Engineering Regiment to be brought back from the Warsh Army, uh, which is under German control, to start fixing this rail. Oh my gosh, like lots of good things are happening for the oh uh, just. Terrible things are happening for the Russians, though. And I'm starting, like I said, oh, yeah, that's why I wanted to go to, to another level about thinking. Like, what is going on? Like, I mean, I've already done, like, as you know, a ton of different political, uh, you know, firings and hirings and promotions and Lord knows what's. Um, the other, I mean, the other big major powers must be losing their marbles. And we know the beautiful, beautiful thing was that the Russians did sign a non-aggression pact with the Ottomans. That was... Talk about saving their bacon, as far as I'm concerned. But I want to take it on to another level, because we're getting into the Grand Campaign when you start getting into January, and I have to start uh, figuring out, like, um, I was like, well, how can the Russians be saved, Eastern Front-wise? Like, they have to wait until there's, like, some kind of Brusilov of offensive coming up. I'm like, that required a hell of a lot of people and supplies and so on and so forth, and artillery, goodness gracious. Um, what? How is that represented in the grand campaign when you have something like this? And can I produce, like, are the game mechanics there for, you know, producing resources, like, around the map and so on and so forth, that a Brusilov offensive can be recreated? That'll be interesting to find out. I have no idea. Um, yeah. But anyway, so there they go. Uh, the Austrians are just uh, in a, just a fantastic... Look at this. This is insane. Um, anyways, that's it. Uh, yeah, off I go.